Hello guys, welcome to a new Blender tutorial. Since a few days, I'm trying to learn everything about the grease pencil modifiers. So I'm making a few videos starting with the previous one that was about the alien text effect. And today I want to talk about the dot dash modifier and especially about this checkbox here, the cyclic checkbox. So before we start, please check my Gumroad, check the files there. Every file is attached to a free tutorial on this channel. Also, you can buy me a coffee with the link in the description too. Thank you very much. So what does the dot dash modifier do? Let's enable this modifier and you see that it added a lot of dots here. If the value of dash here is one, it will create dots. More than one, it will create dashes. And the gap can also be one or two or etc. If you go to edit mode, you see that the gap is located between this vertice and this one and the dash is also between two vertices you say if you do a dash of three and a gap of two you will have a dash between three vertices and a gap between also between three vertices but it's like we count the lines you see so one line two lines so that means that if we have fewer vertices in an object we will have longer lines here if you add a subdivision modifier and place it before the dot dash modifier the dashes got shorter because they have closer vertices to each other and also let's remove this guy if we get back to the dots mode here you see that some vertices are closer to each other if you go to edit mode you see that it reflects the same placement of vertices here so if we sample this shape here we go to stroke simplify sample now we get vertices spaced regularly so back to draw mode you see that we have the same reflected here but what does the cyclic here do if we enable it here <clears throat> nothing happened if we increase the dash a little bit more nothing seems to be happening but if you get the dash is really big like i want a dash for every petal here let's increase the number here so now if you enable cyclic you see what this checkbox does it just closes the dashes so now what can we do with these shapes this line here is just a straight line between two vertices so there is no subdivision inside here that means that there is no balance between this arc that has a lot of vertices and this line that has no vertices at all inside it so if you add directly a subdivision you will still have unbalance between these two parts of the shape that's why we will add first a simplify modifier this modifier will reduce the number of vertices and we create these shapes here but i don't want this this is too narrow so i think i'm gonna add back the subdivide modifier and put it before the dot dash modifier and as we said before the more subdivision you have the smaller the dashes will become so let's get here and increase this number here to have only five dashes so let's increase this more and more and more. This is it. So now instead of those very narrow shapes, now we have larger shapes. And now we enable subdivision after the simplifying. So we have these smoother shapes and then we add the smooth modifier so you see we have these ovals now we can go back to the dot dash modifier now and change the offset to change the placement of the dashes and here we have this animation i don't know what you would do with this animation but it looks cool let's do now another example so here we have some random arcs First, we have the multiple strokes modifier. This duplicates our strokes, so let's enable it. And we have four duplicates here. And then we add an offset modifier to randomize these strokes on the screen. You use for that the values and the randomize here. So we randomized the X location and the Z location. And then we randomize the Y location of these strokes. And then we add our dot dash modifier and use cyclic to close these shapes. So you will need to play with the dash length here. 
and we have this result and then we add simplify as we did before and then we add subdivide and then smooth and we have the circles we will need to check also keep shape so that we have shapes closer to the original shapes and not these small circles here and then if you go back to multiple strokes you can increase the distance this will make some circles bigger and some smaller and the offset too this will make everything bigger and now if we play with the uh, offset in dot dash we will get some kind of animation and if we disable cyclic we get these shapes let's increase i think the distance maybe decrease like this offset so we have this animation it's like an abstract spider going back and forth let's add a noise modifier this is the star modifier the bestest of the modifiers let's increase the noise scale and then add some thickness randomness like this let's try with the offset again and we have this animation let's play with another feature of this modifier let's add another segment so here you can have different settings here and even a different material in material index here if you have minus one it means that the modifier will use all the materials of your object but if you change this it will change to a custom material so this is zero i guess it's black and then one will be this red stroke here so it changed to one and we see nothing that's because it's like they will compete for space here so we need to lower the dash length in the first segment so let's lower the value here and here we start seeing this red dot here let's go back here and increase the number here we see these dots or these squares instead of a line so let's go and change this material from squares to line you can change the color to whatever so back to the modifier and we can play with the segment length here again make it shorter or longer this is all about this modifier we have the radius that can lower the the thickness of the lines and the opacity it lowers the opacity of the lines let's play again with the offset and we get this let's try to close the the cycles let's try cyclic in both and try to animate so we have this blue circles are going and then black circles are coming so this is a very beautiful effect i think i will put these files for you guys on gumroad for free check them in the description thank you for watching and see you in another modifiers video maybe peace